Today we will show you how to install 3D Touch on your KP5L 3D printer. Here are all the things you need. Of course, a 3D Touch. An extended cable. You can also extend the original cable. A 3D printed holder. Two screws to mount the holder. They are 20 millimeters long. M3 on size. A 2.0 mm size screwdriver. Some zips, you need them to arrange the cables. You should be able to get them easily in the local stores. Before starting, put the 3D touch into the holder. This holder is for the KP5L only, it's slightly longer than the other one. If you use a different holder, you need to do some measurements. Then modify the coordinates in the text files. And you should look for the probe bed positions. Just gently put it in. It fits perfectly. Alright, let's get started. Turn on the printer. Then do a preheating. Set the nozzle as 210 degrees. And the heat bed as 60 degrees. We suggest doing a manual bed leveling before enabling the 3D touch. And preheating will make it more precise. Wait for the temperatures to reach. Next, do a bed leveling. In this step, the paper should slide smoothly while feeling a little scratch. Having the same feelings in all the five points, you are all set. You can do the bed leveling twice to confirm it. Alright, let's skip this. Once you finished, lift the nozzle for the next step. I usually lift it to 120 millimeters. While it's lifting, click close to stop the heating. After that, turn off the printer. Take the filament away. Turn the printer 90 degrees. Unplug the power cable. Then turn it over. Loose the bottom screws. Take the bottom cover away. So we are now able to set up the wiring. So here is the extended cable we got for the 3D touch. The 5 pin port connects to the 3D touch, and the 2 pin port and 3 pin port to the mainboard. So the cable is going to pass through the side hole. Put the 5 pin port in the side hole. Take it from the other side. And leave a proper length for the 3D touch installation. Actually, you should leave most of it outside the box. Connect the 3 pin port to the J16 port. Don't follow the colors. Just make sure every pin corresponds to the port. They are both marked on the mainboard and the 3D touch. Then connect the 2 pin port to the Z plus port. Make sure they are connected well. After that, you are all set. Then connect the power cable. Connect the 5 pin port to the 3D touch.
Turn on the print and see if it works. Normally the printer should turn on and the 3D touch works. Or you need to check the connection again. Turn off the printer. Disconnect the 3D touch. Then remove the power cable. Arrange the wires before closing the box. Tight the screws to install the bottom cover back. Turn the printer over. Settle the M3 by 20 screws for the next step. Then tight them. The screw top should come out a little bit, it's easier to install. Put it on the printer head cover, there are two holes for the 3D touch. Press to hold it, then tight the screws. After that, connect the 5 pin port to the 3D touch. So the 3D touch is ready. Download and copy all the files to the SD card. Remember to eject it safely to avoid any data mistakes. Then put the SD card into the printer. Then connect the power cable and turn on the printer. The update will start automatically. It should take some time. After that, the system reboots and back to normal. If you see the white screen, just flash it the second time. So the KP5L can use the 3D touch and the laser now. Just make sure it's in 3D printing mode. Then do the preheating for the bed leveling. Wait for the temperatures to reach. After that, click Auto Level to start. It will home all the axis and then start to measure the nine points. If you are not using the original holder, make sure the 3D touch is not too low. Or the pin could break. If any point can't be detected, the measurement stops. Then the printer head parks in the middle. Then you need to check the 3D touch position and the probe bed position. Alright, the 9 point measurement is done. Put a paper beneath the nozzle. Then slide it to feel the nozzle distance. Meanwhile, click up or down to lower or higher the nozzle. Once you feel the same as last time on manual bed leveling, the distance is okay. Then click back to save the value. Then lift the printer head for the next step. Use the zips to arrange the cables. Make sure to leave enough room for the cable to move.
load the filament and get ready to print. Choose a file and then start the printing. If the nozzle distance is wrong, just do the bed leveling again. You are all set. If you have any questions please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. So that you will be notified once we update it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing. See you in the next video.